we'll guide you through how to download and install Fabric in Minecraft 1.21.7. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. As you probably already know, Fabric is a mod loader and it's going to allow you to go and run Fabric mods. So to get started with this, we can go and quit the game. What we then need to do is go and open up our web browser. I'll go and open up Chrome, it doesn't matter though. And we're going to go and get Fabric. So we can go and type in Fabric Minecraft like so, just to make sure we get to the right site. And you want to come to fabricmc.net. Here, you then need to go and click download like so, and we can go and press download for Windows. You can get the universal jar if you're running a software like Mac, but in this case, I'm using Windows, so we'll get the installer here. What you then want to do is go and press Fabric API, as we need this in the mods folder to run mods. Press files, and then what we need to do is make sure we get it for 1.21.7. Press the three dots to the right and press download file. You're going to go and see a countdown here. All you need to do is go and wait like so. Now we may need to go and allow this if it's blocked. I can click on it and press download suspicious file. That's fine. Now we can come and press back. And what we need to do is go and get some mods for fabric 1.21.7. I'll just press mods at the top here. You can then scroll down on the left, choose fabric and set the game version to 1.21.7. What we then need to do is come down here and we can go and press Waystones. Go and click on it. Then what we need to do is go and press Files. And what we can do is go and get it for 1.21.7 for Fabric. Press the three dots to the right and press Download File. With this mod as well, we do need to go and get something called Balm. So wait for it to download and we can then get any additional things here. And I'll get it in Files. And we need to go and make sure we get it for Fabric 1.21.7. Press download file. It's now gone and downloaded. And of course you can get more mods for 1.21.7 Fabric as well. Before we start the install process, a big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, go and check them out. Link down below in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment you can go and get a discount. It's definitely worth checking them out. If we scroll down, we can start checking out some of the great features like one click and store more packs. DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get a live chat assistance for your always online server. Ultra latency and so many other great features as well. So if you're interested, go and check them out. Now to go and continue, what we need to do is we need to go and open up our file explorer and we can come to our downloads. Find the fabric installer and you can then go and double click on it like so. Make sure the version is set to 1.21.7 and press install. We've installed it. Go and open up the Minecraft launcher. So I'll press search at the bottom and run it. In the launcher, go to the left and select Java edition and press installations at the top. Go and scroll down like so. And you want to go and find the fabric loader for 1.21.7. Press the installations folder to the right. The file explorer will open up. Scroll down and you need to go and find the mod folder. If you don't have one, then you can always go and create one. Then what you need to do is go and open up your downloads again. And what you need to do is go and find what we went and downloaded. So first of all, put in the Fabric API and then the mods. And I had two here because I had to get an additional one. Now, what we can do is now you've added them is hover over Fabric and press play to the right. Understand you're playing a modified version of Minecraft and we can get started. If I open up my inventory, I'll press search. I got a Waystone mod and when I search for it, we can then go and see it here. 